Today I'm going to be putting my sous vide machine to use on these prime ribeye steaks. They're approximately eight ounces each and they're looking really good. I really love the marbling. It's a special occasion and I'm getting ready to cook these ribeyes for a real special dinner. One of the considerations is that ordinarily you would reverse sear these ribeyes but I'm going to sous vide them up to a temperature of about 125 and then I'm going to sear them. And the benefit of that is that it allows me to get the meat to the right temperature so that it is absolutely a medium rare. And it'll cool down a little bit and then I'll put them on and sear them to get that nice pretty looking crust on the outside. I'm going to season these ribeyes with a number of different things. Number one, I'm going to be putting on this solution, Bloom, which is a sauce and marinade. And it's a Worcestershire type sauce with a smoky overtones. And then I'm going to be putting on some Big Papa Smoker's Double Secret Steak Rub and some Simply Marvelous Pepper Cow. To the sous vide bag, I'm also going to be adding some clarified butter. And this clarified butter has roasted garlic in it, rosemary, and thyme. We'll seal the bags up, put them in the sous vide machine, and I'm going to set this machine. I think I'm going to set it for 125. And that way, when I set it for 125, I'll know that my steaks are at the right temperature. And then we'll go on to the searing process. Let's do this. I've turned on my sous vide machine, and you hear that in the background. We have to get it up to temp. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to start the seasoning process. I'm going to take my marinade and put a few drops on the outside. And then I'm going to use my brush to get that sauce all over this meat. And I want to sauce it on all sides. So I make sure that I get it all over. This marinade can also act as sort of a binder for when I put on the, the seasonings. I'm going to start with the double secret steak rub. I'm going to get a coating of that on the outside. And you want to coat it fairly generously because keep in mind that this big thick piece of meat, these are about an inch and a half thick. They can take all of that seasoning. Move on to the pepper cow. And get that seasoned all over. My next step is to put the clarified butter into each of the sous vide bags. And once I get the butter in, I'll move on to putting the steaks themselves in the bag.
I'm gonna go seal these bags with my vacuum sealer and we'll move on to the next step. I've got my steaks in the vacuum seal packages with the compound butter and they're all seasoned. I'm just waiting for the sous vide machine to get up to temp. Then I'll put these in and I'm going to hold them in there at that 125 temp for about an hour and a half. And that way I'll be a little bit safe with only taking them up to 125 before cooking versus holding them too long and they'll be at an unsafe temperature if I held them more than say three hours. I've heard from a lot of my friends who do catering or even some that own restaurants that sous vide is the way to go when you're going to try to do steaks in those establishments because then you could cook them up to the temp that you want and once the customer comes in and orders it, all you have to do is sear it to get the color on it and bring it up to what the, what the customer wants. Medium rare, rare, well done, any of those temperatures. I like my medium rare to rare, so I like to stay on the nice pinkish red side. Not raw, but a little bit more reddish pink. And that's what I'm going to go with a temperature in my sous vide machine of 125. Because when I do that sear, I know that I'm not going to get it past 135 and it will be good to go. My sous vide machine is nearing that 125 mark, it's at 124.8. And I'm going to put my steaks in. And let them do their thing for about an hour and a half. Now, of course, because I put cold steaks in there, it brought the temperature down a little bit on my sous vide machine. But it will catch up. Here we have my sous vide steak, which I took to 125 degrees. And then I cooked it on the cast iron skillet on top of the stove, nothing fancy. And let's see what we got. Um, yum. Looking good to me. Medium rare, lots of juice. Can't complain about that. Ribeye steaks, sous vide, and then cooked on a cast iron skillet on the stove. It's what's for dinner.